I bought this oil in a box, which seems like a good idea in some respects. But I think one, and they'll probably, they tell you, you know, you can use it as is, but I don't think it's practical if you don't transfer it into something like this, which some people would think that's too much trouble. Doesn't bother me too bad. But it is an extra step. The other thing too is it's hard to tell when these are full. When I do my used oil, I have a problem with that. Tell them when they're full. Because you can't see through them. Some of them have a window. But, but uh, there's six quarts in this box too, so there's a little more than usual. I should do even more than six. And then there's one other thing I want to show you is uh, when you, um, so I've emptied this out, and of course there's still oil, and oil is, oil is designed, you know, to stick two surfaces. That's one of its important components. So this is going to have oil stuck to it, and you can kind of squeeze it out a little bit, but I'm going to show you, really you've got to uh, let it settle for a long time to get it all out. It's like you can squeeze it like this. But I'll show you in the garage where I hung it upside down, or actually it's probably right side up. See, it looks like it's gone, but it's clinging to all those surfaces. Let's go in the garage right away. Uh oh, the radio's on. See that? So this one was, I even squeezed it harder and more logically than that other one. See all that oil in there? So that's a thing that as far as like if you're trying to save the earth, you're still going to have that problem because everybody isn't going to hang it upside down like that.